Hey guys, it's Abby. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be reading to you 10 two sentence scary stories from the two sentence scary story subreddit. And believe me, some of these are terrifying. If you guys like this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you are new here, click the subscribe button down below and turn on my post notifications so you never miss a video. I post every Sunday at 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. We love spooky Sundays around here. And other than that, let's just get right on into the video. Our first story is by the user Gosh Yarnit. Everyone on Earth was born with a dormant superpower that would activate after the worst trauma of your life. Imagine my terror when my wife and son were murdered in front of me and I still had no power at all. That's terrifying. That implies that something even worse is going to happen. I can't even imagine because how do you get any worse than that? Our next story is by the user Power of the PV. I was embarrassed when everyone started staring at me, so I left the restaurant. On the drive home, all the passerby turned and stared, and when I got home and turned on the game, the entire stadium went dead silent and stared into the camera. That sounds like an absolute nightmare. Like, not your typical, like, scary, scary nightmare, but, like, everyone watching you is giving, like, Truman Show vibes. I would love that movie. It's such a good movie. If you haven't seen it, would recommend. Please watch it. But, like, that's frightening. Our next story by the user till-public. I shook my son roughly as I said, I've explained this to you a million times. Why don't we talk to strangers? Because my real mom and dad might find me, the boy replied solemnly. This is like so similar to another like short story that I read. We don't talk to strangers so your real parents don't find you. No, we don't talk to strangers so people don't kidnap you. The irony of that is genius but also terrifying. Our next video is by the user Sayonara underscore M. My girl never liked my gifts, so for our 10th anniversary I simply asked what she wants. To go back to my husband and children, she cried. What's with all the like kidnapping? That's my question. There's so many stories about kidnappings. Like, I really hope that these people are not inserting a bit of truth into these. The next one is by the user Ace Choir. My ghost self was heartbroken seeing my twin sister Rebecca crying over my mangled and disfigured body after the car crash. However, after our parents arrived, I was horrified when she said, Mom, Dad, Rebecca is dead. I wonder what like the, the, the dead sister, the like ghost had going for her that Rebecca was like pretending to be her. Or like, what was her reasoning? I'd be so mad though. Like, imagine, I'm like, you're taking credit for my life now? I would be furious. I would definitely haunt my sister. Well, I don't have a sister, but if I did and this exact thing happened, I would definitely haunt her. Next one is by the user Toei Wise Rut. Really interesting names here. Finally, we found a way to directly communicate with God. Excitement soon turned into dread as the first message received from him was help. I'm sorry, that is so funny, but like really not funny at all. But like, that is so funny. Imagine you like find a way to contact God and you just like help. How terrifying that feeling would be. Like, you're like, you're supposed to know what to do. Like, you're supposed to be in charge here. What do you mean? It's horrifyingly hilarious. This one is by the user Skeleton Chaser 2020 On my way, the text from my husband flashed across my phone as I dried my hair. With confusion and a slight thrill, I wondered who had just slammed the cabinet in the kitchen. That's crazy. A slight thrill as you're wondering who's just broken into your house. I, I can just like feel the emotion right now when you just like all of a sudden you just break out in a sweat and you feel sick to your stomach. That's how I would react to finding out that whoever's clunking around in my kitchen is not my husband. Not thrill. That's a crazy adrenaline rush though. This one's from the user a Little Strange. I was almost relieved when my patient flatlined from minor injuries, leaving all her organs salvageable. That was until several people, each who had received an organ donation recently by my hand, started coming in with the same symptoms. Agitation, confusion, nausea, and an intense fear of water. Rabies? Can you imagine? I mean, I feel like that shouldn't happen. They test people for rabies. I mean, 
people don't get rabies that often, but like, I would assume they'd test people for like rabies or things like that before they give an organ away, right? One would hope. Not that I'm in the market for a new organ or anything, but like, I would hope that they'd make sure I don't have rabies as soon as I get like a new heart, right? I didn't even think of that from like a patient aspect either. Like, you like finally get that like life-saving transplant and then end up with rabies? <laughs> I'd be furious. I would 100% sue. Not that I'm the suing type, but I definitely sue for that. Next story is by the user Dalonly1. I really believe my wife will take me back this time, even though she has had multiple restraining orders out against me. Red flag. She invited me over for a special dinner and guaranteed me the cops would never find out about it. I love that. Don't condone violence, but I love that. I wonder what kind of poison she's putting in the dinner. All right, and then our final two sentence horror story of the video is by the user Assassin Fixie. There I stood face to face with my so-called trade genie whilst he offered me a trade, 10 years of your life, for a hundred million dollars. Without hesitation, I said yes, and before I knew it, I collapsed to the ground, darkness surrounding me and the genie laughing hysterically. I wonder how old this guy was that he didn't even have 10 years left, that's crazy. I don't know if I do that, to be honest. Like, granted, I probably have a good like 70, 75 years left in me, but like, the thought of that number turning into 60 or 50 or 40, like, that's frightening. Also, genies, as much as I love the idea of being like, I want a million dollars, I don't trust them. I've seen one too many movies and shows where genies will be like, they'll give you a million dollars, but then like kill your whole family and be like, well, you didn't specify. Like, that's stupid. So if I ever come across a genie in real life, I will not be taking free wishes unless I sit down and methodically plan how to make sure nothing bad happens with any of them. That's the kind of things I think about. Why am I wasting my time planning out potential wishes for the theoretical genie that I will never meet? I don't know. Anyway, there were 10 two sentence horror stories. Let me know if you guys like this video. I will do another one with even more if you want. I just didn't want it to be like too long if you guys didn't like it. So let me know your thoughts. I will do another one. Let me know of any other like subreddits that you wanna hear stories from. Or again, like I always say, feel free to tag me in any Glitch in the Matrix TikToks or terrifying TikToks that you find on TikTok. I have all my links down below. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys did like it, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you're new here, click the subscribe button down below and turn on my post notifications so you never miss a video I post every Sunday at 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time for Spooky Sundays. And other than that, I will see you next week. Bye.